Hey guys, it's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Today's video, we are going to make three updates on our farm. The first thing is we will add some dozens of chicks and then number two, we will add some 40 pieces of this cute rabbits, these little bunnies. And number three, we will give an update about the puppies. These are the new animals that will be added to our farm. So please be with me guys, we are going to get some bunnies and then we will verify if our chicks could be claimed already at the agribet supplies that accepts incubation. Well, we are on a lockdown and I cannot get my incubator from the other province. That's why I just contacted other people who have business about incubating eggs. Today is Monday and I'm so excited to add these animals to our farm. How many days ago I was informed that our rabbits could be claimed already because as you know I have so many friends whom I supported with you know providing them with materials they are breeding it and now they are selling their produce to us that's why we are going there and we will buy all these rabbits So guys, we are here now and we will observe the social distancing. Actually, we are still on the ECQ and we are not, we're not allowed to have close contacts with people so we will maintain the social distancing. Bye! How are you? Guys, we will alight from this vehicle. So guys, as you can see, we have uh, additional 40 small rabbits to be added to our farm. We will pack this up and then we will bring this immediately to the farm. And of course, as what I have promised, we also would like to have a film on our chicks. There are dozens of chicks also that will be added today to the farm. We will go now and we will also claim our dozens of chicks right there, come on. So guys, we have 40 kittens and all of this will be added to our farm. And I'm looking forward to have a big rabbitry wherein we can raise at least 200 to 300 rabbits for for breeding and that's my intention and that's my dream for this year 2020 that we can produce massive rabbit meat and that's gonna be an exciting moment for us to also wait because that's a big business I will try to make this farm as a model for those who are also planning to have rabbitry as their business Okay. 
So guys, I am quite dismayed because we only had 6 out of 30 eggs and maybe this can be attributed to the incubator because we already gave some vitamins to our breeders, electrolytes and all other that we can do through, you know, vitamins but uh, only 6 had been hatched. That's a really low percentage. Only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 have been hatched. All the rest are spoiled eggs. But I believe that this is not because of the breeder, but it is because of the kind of incubator. Maybe after this lockdown, we will really get a good incubator. The ones that I have shown you in our previous videos, it was really a good incubator. But nevertheless, we still have to make it sure that this will grow big and we will also try if we can get some good breeders out of this hatch. We have uh, 60 rabbits because we already have 20 rabbits over there and we will add some more 40. If you can see over there, we have the skeletal hoop that is intended for our rabbitry. And since we were locked down, we cannot buy in a material. Now let me give you an update about our puppies. Many have expressed concern about the puppies at the pet store. You can recall that how many days ago we rescued our fish and many have expressed, what about the puppies? Are you going to leave the puppies inside the pet store unattended? No, actually it is not because we are taking care of the puppies and they are here. <laughs> Okay, eating time. Oops! Wait for your turn. Do not cross this line. Okay? Okay? You're the next, Kibol. Kibal, Bungoton, Sikuring. Okay. Finish, finish. Okay, wait. Just, just sit down. Kibul with it. Sit down. Very good. Oh, wait. Sit down. Good. Wait, huh? wait for your turn. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Very good. You sit down. Sit. You know, these dogs are really very naughty when they first arrive here in the farm. They are not disciplined, they are very rude, and they are fighting over their food. But now they have little by little been disciplined because the moment they will disturb somebody who is eating, they will be spunked with the use of this stick. So they are really behaved, they are waiting for their turn. You see that these dogs are also trainable and many have said native dogs are hard to be trained. Well, I disagree because these dogs are native dogs here and they are very intelligent and they can understand not your turn yet not your turn okay mm. finish already done eating so don't disturb you just wait for your turn after this, you will drink water. Understand? Very good. We will temporarily load these uh, rabbits inside their cages. But this cage is just temporary. Open the end.
So guys, we already have 20 kits over here and we will add 40 more that uh, will now become 60 bunnies all in all. And by the month of June, I'm expecting to raise some 120 rabbits, breeder rabbits. So this is it now. We are going to load this one here. Okay. One, two, ten. Thirty-four, eleven, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. So all in all, we have forty kits, and uh, this is a good start for a rabbitry. And you know, how many months from now we're gonna be able to produce rabbit meats? We will sell this in the market, we will sell roasted rabbits and rabbit meats. So these are now our future breeders. So we will give them some water and then of course later this afternoon we will introduce the grasses that are just available around the corner. This is an imported rabbit and uh, this is a pet quality, you see that? The long hair is really very smooth and uh, this is a New Zealand breed. Wow! And uh, this is a, a male rabbit. By the month of June, we can get some 40 pieces of this kind of rabbit imported from the other country. Allow me also to give an update about our duckweeds plantation. If you notice, at my back, we have here a long tank for our duckweeds. And this is already covered with this duckweeds because we didn't use this for a period of one week. And we look at this. They already have filled this tank and they are very thick. So tomorrow, the breakfast for our chicken will be pellet mixed with this duckweeds. This has a good vitamin content and as I observe the moment they eat this duckweeds, especially the turkey, they will really lay eggs fast, faster than just uh, giving the ordinary pellet. So maybe you will ask Dexter what's the dimension of this tank? Well this is one and a half meter in width by 15 meters in length and it has a depth of 1 foot 12 inches. It's just very shallow. We don't need to have a deep tank for these duckweeds. And you will note that I also placed some cover because they are not that resistant to too much sunlight. This is our update of our farm and I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. If you are new to this channel, may I request that you will subscribe so that you will be notified of our regular uploads only here at Dexter's World